when a humanoid robot sprinted at human-like speeds, claiming a 1,500-meter crown in 6 minutes, 34 seconds, the ice ribbon of many once dedicated to human athletic glory erupted in roaring disbelief. Meanwhile, in the freestyle combat arena, the sheer force of clashing armored bodies created waves of tension. Wow, that's two robotics going head to head. It's getting rough now. Swift punches and fierce high kicks in one go. Even if a robot falls accidentally, it can recover on its own. I think this is a very bold movement. I think uh, for China to do this, it's very impressive and bold. And I'm very impressed. On the other hand, the seemingly peaceful competition poses considerable challenges. This segment tests the robot's ability to operate in hospital, hotel, and factory environments. The final score is determined by the task score and completion time. Most robots are wheeled, which are more stable. You can see that the hand is very strong, because its power is very strong. And like in today's competition, there is a factory that is carrying in the factory. The weight is very heavy. The weight of the hand is about 5,000 kilograms. And our machines have such a high range of power. The games are among robots. The rules of it are very similar to those of human competitions. It evaluates multiple tasks and scores. 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 Precision, uh, diversity of the movement, and creativity of the maneuvers. For some young participants, the meaning of a game is not just about winning or losing. Soccer in general, uh, it's a very complicated sport. We humans do it very natural, but when a robot needs to do it, it's very complicated. So things like cooperating with each other, uh, even walking. It's very valuable for other use cases, like in healthcare. The games serve as a critical testing ground for breakthroughs in robotic mechanics, AI decision making, and sensor technology. Organizers emphasize its value in accelerating practical applications and deepening public understanding of how humanoids may soon assist in homes, factories, and beyond. Liu Jiaxin, CGTN, Beijing.